back to my channel for another video and welcome to my kitchen. I am back with another go-to meals video and in this video I'm going to show you three of my go-to dinners. If you want to check out my three go-to breakfasts or lunches, I'll make sure and have those linked below. But let's just jump right into my go-to dinners. First up is the Buddha Bowl and this one is just so healthy and simple and delicious. You like literally can't go wrong here. But I start with rice usually. Um, this is the base recipe and I'll like switch out any of the ingredients for something else. But this mixture is black beans with salsa. I like putting a protein in there and salsa mixed in with the beans makes it super tasty. And then I always add a vegetable in there. So today I'm doing some steamed broccoli. This meal actually is really great for leftovers. If you have leftover rice or broccoli or really anything from the day before, I will throw that into a Buddha bowl and just figure out what I should put with it. Um, and I do that all the time. So next up, I like to add something fresh and that would be tomatoes for this one. And then I almost always top it with avocado because that's just a really great source of all of the healthy fats that you need. Plus I love avocados. And then I just top it with some salt and some pepper. And then I always sprinkle some nutritional yeast across the top. It has a really nice cheesy flavor in my opinion and it's a great source of vitamin B12. That's it, so simple and delicious. And then like I said, I switch things out. So I'll do like sweet potato instead of rice or carrots instead of broccoli. The sky's the limit. This cauliflower alfredo sauce is so good and I use this in a number of different ways too, but the sauce is the highlight here. So I'm starting with a whole head of steamed cauliflower. If your blender is bigger than mine, you can do everything at once, but I sort of do this recipe in shifts because my blender is a little bit smaller, so I'm putting about half of it. And I will actually link the full recipe below for you guys if you're interested, but next up I have some cashews that I've been soaking in water, some garlic powder, nutritional yeast gives it sort of the cheesy flavor of a normal Alfredo sauce, and then salt, pepper, olive oil, and milk, any type of milk that you want. Then I add just a little bit of lemon zest and start blending everything together. I like to blend it for a good while or else when I'm serving it, I'll see a random piece of cashew or a little chunk of cauliflower kind of poke out. And then I'm just dumping it into a bowl and since my blender is small, I'm going to blend the rest of it. And then I'll serve this over a number of things. In this video, I'm serving it over regular pasta and then I'm topping it with some broccoli, but I also like to serve it over like zucchini noodles or other vegetable noodles that I can spiralize. Uh, really, I do a ton of stuff with this really basic sauce recipe and it is so good. Last up is what I call random soup or sometimes leftover soup and that's just where I kind of am using leftovers and I don't really use a recipe but I always start by melting butter in the pan and then I actually keep chopped onions in a baggie in my freezer so I can really quickly add onions to pretty much anything I'm cooking and I pretty much always throw a little minced garlic in there and then I get those um, just bubbling over the stove and then I try to decide what sort of seasonings I'm going to use so I'll sort of pick some classic Indian flavors for example but today I'm just using a classic Italian seasoning mix and then I'm adding some red pepper flakes just to spice it up a little bit pretty much go with whatever I'm feeling but I do try to pick a lane so whether it's sort of a taco-y soup or Indian like I said some kind of target flavor profile at least, but I'm adding some pepper and some salt in there too. And then I chopped a bunch of potatoes and some sweet potatoes and I'm adding those in there. And the vegetable I chose for today because I had it in the fridge was just some carrots. And I'm just gonna top that with about six to eight cups of water just until everything is good and covered. When I'm making a like random sort of soup like this, I like to pick at least one thing that's filling, so potatoes or rice. And I like to add at least one vegetable. Besides the seasonings that I choose, I like to add a little flavor with this better than bouillon broth base. It's sort of like a bouillon cube, but it's better for you. And they sell them at Costco. It's really, really good. I use them all the time. After the potatoes and carrots are totally cooked, I'm adding a can of kidney beans for some protein, and then I'm just gonna stir that and put that back on the stove to heat the rest of the way through, heat up the beans, and then I usually top soups with a little bit of cheese. I think it looks pretty, and Garrett loves cheese. And that is it. That is my thought process for random soup. I get to use up some odds and ends, and they usually always turn out pretty good. 
Alright, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. Make sure and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment some comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!